I love flams. Flams are great. Typically, we play flams with two hands. That's cool and all, but how about playing flams with only one hand? Then we could answer that age-old question, what's the sound of one hand flamming? If you ever delved into the realm of modern jazz drumming, you probably stumbled across a drummer by the name of Chris Dave. And if you ever punched his name into YouTube, you may have come across this video. The whole video is a remarkable display of technique and restraint, but one section in particular really grabs my attention. He casually plays what I can only describe as one-handed flams. So how the heck is that possible? Flams have two components. We got a grace stroke and a primary stroke. And together, they sound like a really fat single stroke. Blap instead of bap. The primary stroke should be louder than the grace stroke, so to do this with one hand, we'll need to play a super tight double stroke grouping where the second stroke is louder than the first. Now, I don't know the exact nuances of whatever technique Chris Dave uses to pull off one-handed flams. His style is incredibly individualized and not easily replicated, but I figured out a way to get practically the same result. Full disclosure, I can't play these perfectly 100% of the time. It's something I'm still working on myself. But I recently had a pretty significant breakthrough with these and I'm getting more consistent and I got real excited, so here we are. To play one-handed flams, I use a combination of a regular wrist stroke and the pull element from the push-pull technique. So it's a really controlled double stroke, but the second stroke is a rim shot. And catching that rim shot is super necessary to make these sound like flams as opposed to bunched up doubles. That rim shot makes the second stroke louder than the grace stroke. As I throw the stick down, I open my fingers, and pretty much as soon as the stick hits the head, I snap my fingers back around the stick to get as much power as possible on that second stroke. I kind of push my hand through that first stroke, as if I'm aiming for something inside the snare drum instead of aiming for the head. Pushing my hand past the initial stroke helps me align the stick for the rim shot on the second stroke. So let's check these out on the slow-mo cam. All right, so it looks like sometimes there's a stray third bounce in there, but it's imperceptible at higher speeds and in context. Hopefully I can eliminate it with more practice. But anyway, to practice the mechanics, break it down into each component. As you throw the stick down, open your fingers up, and when the stick bounces back up, try to play a rim shot by only snapping your fingers back in. You may need to reposition your hand slightly to pull off rim shots on that second stroke. Once you get a bit comfortable playing rim shots with just your fingers, try connecting the motions a bit more. Gradually close the space between each stroke until they start to sound like a flam. When first starting out, you'll almost always miss those rim shots, but that's okay. They'll start to get more consistent as you get the feel for the technique. When you really get the hang of it, start using one-handed flams as a backbeat in a groove. I think this is a really cool texture and a great way to make trippy beats nice and thick. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support makes it possible for me to continue producing these videos, and it grants you access to transcriptions for all my other lesson videos. I don't have transcriptions on this one. 
what good would they even do? And of course, follow me on Instagram, at DrummerHar, to see more videos of my playing, and comment, like, subscribe, do the whole YouTube thing. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time. <laughs> Floating dust.